If the casualty has been in the water for some time, he may be suffering from hypothermia. He is unlikely to be conscious, as our casualty is here, and should be treated with extreme care. In this situation, speed of recovery is less important than the care taken to get the person out of the water. In some instances, it may be better to recover the casualty into an inflatable dinghy or life raft before lifting him aboard. It's possible to lift the casualty horizontally in a sitting position using the boom and strop method by simply clipping a safety lanyard behind the casualty's knees. As the casualty, I found this to be a very comfortable and secure way to be lifted, although care will need to be taken in rough seas to prevent the casualty swinging into the side of the boat. The main sheet gave a four to one advantage, but even so, our petite lady crew was unable to lift me using the tackle alone. Swigging the main sheet using a cleat as a strong point helped. However, in the end, we had to rig the tail of the sheet through a block and back onto a winch so that she could get me back on board. This only goes to emphasize how important it is that all your crew practice man overboard recovery methods. Make sure that all your crew can use the method you have planned to use on your boat. If the guard wires had been lowered, the casualty could have been landed more quickly and at less risk. Proper preparation is the key.